fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi yo silver, the Lone Ranger. days of the western United States, the boys and girls who grew up in the new territory heard many stories about the masked rider of the plains. Courageous, daring, and resourceful, he championed the weak against the strong and brought law and order to a lawless frontier. It was he more than any other man who made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver, the Lone Ranger, Rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Laramie! Tunnel's waiting on the trail ahead! Hello, oh, Silver! Away! The Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, sat their mounts beside the trail to Laramie. Their gaze was fixed upon the cloud of dust that marked a stagecoach approaching in the distance and... That should be a Tonto. Ah. Oh. They should have left last Thursday. It's a two-day trip by stage from Yellow Ghost to Warshaw. At Warshaw, they'd catch this Laramie stage. Another two-day trip. This is Monday. Unless something happened to delay them, they're in it. Not right. Get up there. Get I look carefully as it goes by. Mrs. Clements is an elderly, gray-haired woman. You've seen the marshal. Me watch him. I won't be able to see as well as you. I want to stay behind this rock. I don't want the driver to think he's in for a holdup. Ah. Be careful. Here they come. Watch closely now. Hunter, do it. Them on stage. You're sure? Uh-huh. Me see Lawman. Good. What do now? The stage will be in Laramie in 30 minutes. It won't be long after that before the law goes into action. Uh-huh. We're riding to Blackie's place where we can keep an eye on things and see that they go as they should. This is one stunner that Blackie won't escape the law. Come on. Get him on, Scout. Come on. Half an hour later, in Laramie... Whoa! 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 Here we are, ma'am. Tired? No. You ain't? <laughs> you all wonder, ma'am. I reckon I must be more than 20 years younger than you, and yet I I'm only... I can't think of rest until I see the man who killed John hanged. Oh, sure, sure. I shall be. Well, we better be getting out. <sighs> hey, hey, give me a hand. I'll help you down. Thank you. <sighs> There you are, ma'am. Now then, oh, that must be the sheriff over there. Here, this way, ma'am. Sheriff! Howdy. Howdy, ma'am. Hmm, I see you're wearing the United States Marshal's badge, mister. Your sheriff, Otis? Yes, ma'am. This is Mrs. Clemens. A pleasure, ma'am. How do you do? I'm Marshal Cleary from Yellow Gulch. Yeah? Well, well. I've heard of you. What brings you to Laramie? Sheriff, my husband... Pardon, ma'am, but maybe it'd be better if I was to explain. Sheriff... Mrs. Clements is from Yellow Gulch, just like me. Last Wednesday, her husband... Well, her, her husband was killed. And I never heard of a more cowardly killing, Sheriff. The polecat never gave Mr. Clements a chance. All we got, Sheriff, is a description. 
and a tip from a masked man that the fellow we want lives near Laramie. So that's what brought you here, a masked man. Some crook gave you the tip, huh? I suppose he's an outlaw. Don't imagine he'd be masked if he weren't. But anyhow, it's the only lead we got. Tell me what the killer looks like, and I'll tell you if he's around. And if he is, we'll get the pool cat, whether he's a killer or not. Right. Describe the fellow, Mrs. Clemens. Well, I'd say he was just under six feet, but he was stuck. Hey, just and... a second, ma'am. Billy. Huh? Come here. Uh, me, Sheriff? Uh-huh, you. Listening, wasn't you? Gee, I was just standing there. I wasn't doing nothing. <laughs> nothing but spreading your ears to the wind to pick up everything that was said. You savvy what happens to young fellas your age that don't mind their own business? Oh, gee, I They was... get larruped. Now, Vamoose. I'm going. Better keep going, Billy, till you get home. And don't stop to spread anything you heard. <laughs> That's a boy for you. All us underfoot. Nice looking, lad. Sure, Billy's all right. Feel kind of sorry for the young'un with no maw or paw, and only Blackie to look after him. <laughs> Not that he don't think the sun just about rises and sets on Blackie. Uh, well, this ain't tending to business. Uh, we'd like to get it over with just as soon as possible. Uh, sure. Ma'am, I want to hear the rest of what you've got to say. But I reckon this ain't the place for it. A little too public. In your office? He's just across the street and down the block. My arm, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, this way, we'll have this settled in a jiffy. To a boy of Billy's age, the little he had overheard of the conversation between Sheriff Otis and Marshal Cleary was exciting news. He rode as fast as he could toward his home, a small cabin about five miles south of Laramie. When he arrived there... Ho, oh, Comanche! Ho! Oh, Ho, oh boy! Ho! Oh. Blackie! Blackie! Yeah, where... yeah, kid. Blackie! Gosh, you know what I heard just from Tom just now? Do you? I bet you'd never guess. <laughs> I... Hold on, hold on there, young fella. But, but you tell know... You hold on. Whatever it is, you can tell it later. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> Any notion why? Huh? <laughs> Ain't there been nothing you've been wanting kind of special lately? That I've been... Oh, gee, Blackie, you don't mean it. <laughs> sure do. Come on. Let you and me see if we can't find something waiting for you out in back. Huh? Oh, golly. <laughs> it is, Blackie. You bought him. It's the horse I seen at Mr. Whipple's. Oh, boy, he's swell. Like him? Oh, gee, he's the swellest horse I ever seen. Did you really buy him for me, Blackie? Did you, huh? Uh-huh. He's yours for keeps. Just look at him. Hear that? <laughs> he knows me already. He takes to you, don't he? Oh, Blackie, I... I... Oh, I don't know what to say. You've been so swell to me and... Me? <laughs> Shucks, kid, forget it. I ain't hardly done nothing. Leastways, nothing to all I'd like to. Was this what you went to your claim for, Blackie? Was it? Uh, to buy the horse from Mr. Whipple? Claim? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's what I had in mind. You ever going to take me with you when you go? Won't you someday, Blackie? <laughs> we'll talk it over some other time. Hey, didn't you start to tell me about something happening in town? Oh, gosh, yes. I was near forgetting. Blackie, the sheriff's going to jail a killer. <laughs> yeah? Well, come on, we better get back inside and start rustling up some grub, huh? Uh-huh. Now, what's this about the sheriff? Well, he was talking to a U.S. Marshal and some old lady. I was right there and heard him. Well, that sounds interesting. U.S. Marshal, huh? Sure. From, uh... A uh, yellow gulch. From yellow... Kid, did you say yellow gulch? Well, sure, Blackie. What... Who was that he was after? You hear him say, did you? Well, what's the matter, Blackie? Quick, did you hear him say or didn't you? Well, well, no, they didn't mention no name. What else did they say? What was they after this fella first? You hear that? Oh, gee, Blackie, you're hurting my arm. Uh, sorry, kid. I guess I didn't notice I had a hold of you. Now, go on and tell me about it, I... Kind of interested. Well, the marshal was telling the sheriff that back in Yellow Gulch, there was this old lady's husband, and some skunk held him up. And then afterwards shot him in the back, and... Well, you ain't listening, Blackie. I thought you said you was interested. Here, Dad. I just thought of something I meant to do and didn't. But... It's got to be tended to you. You go ahead and fix the grub. I'll be back later. But, Blackie, wait! Blackie! Get up there. Get up. Get up, boy. Get up. Gee, what got into him? When Blackie left his young friend, his destination was a remote clearing in a wood some distance from the cabin. 
There, leaving his mount saddle, he took refuge in a crudely built lean-to. All day he remained in hiding. Then, just as dusk was beginning to fall, a horse. Whoever you are, rein up your cupboard. It's me, Blackie. It's Billy. Billy. Oh, pull there. Pull there. Oh, oh, pull pull there. Kid, what made you look for me here? Uh, Blackie. Blackie, it was you I heard the marshal talking about. Did, did they come to the cabin? Yeah. Gosh, kid, I, I don't know what to say. Let, let's not talk about it, Blackie. You've got to get going. They're on your trail. Huh? They are? I, I watched them. The marshal can read sign real good. They'll be coming along most any time. You better leave. Yeah. That's so, I reckon I better. Well, look, kid, I, I guess I've smashed things, ain't I? There wasn't no claim. Nope, there wasn't. It, it was all lies. You wasn't buying me things with gold you'd pan. It was with, with cash you'd stole. Uh-huh. Oh, why'd you do it, Blackie? Why'd you have to? Everything was so swell. I was so happy and... And now it... Listen. <laughs> Billy, just listen for a second. Then I'll clear out. I'm listening. Kid, first of all, I want you to know I don't mean to whitewash myself. I'm pretty bad. I always have been. I was a crook when I first found you. I always thought you was the swellest fellow there ever was. But... Uh-huh. And all this time I've felt like a dog for fooling you the way I have. But you see, young one, I... I kind of felt toward you like... Well, I reckon like a man that feel toward his own son. No matter how bad he was, he wouldn't want his boy to know it. Nor he wouldn't want to give up his boy, neither. Well, that's the way I've been. I guess I ought to be shot for it. Won't you go, Blackie? Please, I don't want him to catch you. Sure, I'll go. But before I go to you... Do you think maybe you could say you ain't mad at me? Well, I can't blame you, man, only. Oh, gee, Blackie. I couldn't be mad at you in a million years. Oh, kid. But you gotta go. You just gotta. Here, boy. Blackie, you take my horse. He's the one you bought me, and he'll give you a better chance. I don't I'll go on, please. Well... And, and Blackie, hmm? I'm, I'm awful cold if... If you just let me wear your hat and your coat. Cold? Why well, didn't think I'm, it was... I'm shivering. Why, well, here, kid, take him. I just didn't think it was that cold. Thanks. <sighs> well, Billy, I reckon this is goodbye, all right. G- goodbye, Blackie. And, kid. Yeah? You'll be hearing a lot of things about me. Bad things. <laughs> Most of them true. But if they ever try to tell you I didn't mean to be square by you, well, they'll be lying, and don't you let them convince you different. Get up. Get up there. Get up. Marshal Cleary, Sheriff Otis, and the deputy approached the woods. Suddenly... There he is. That's him. That's the golden hat he always wears. And that's his horse. Trying to get away. Shoot him down. I got him. I knocked him from the saddle. Keep your guns handy in case he's tricking us. Get up. Get, get up, up there. there. Come on. Get, get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. We got you, Blackie. Don't cry nothing. Pull up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Keep him covered. What? What that? Sheriff, sure, it ain't him. We shot the wrong fella. The wrong him. fella? It's Billy. And he's hurt pretty bad. <laughs> Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. When the three lawmen discovered it was Billy they had shot, the deputy mounted his horse, and the sheriff and the marshal carefully lifted the boy into his arms. The deputy was ordered to get him to a doctor as quickly as possible. And when he had disappeared in the direction of town... Come on, Silver! Hear that? I thought I heard something. Hurry, old boy! Hurry! Hold it! Whoa, 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 whoa. Who is it? Can you make him out, Marshal? There's more than one. Wait till they get clear of the trees. Well, I'll... You got one feller masked? Yeah, but that's Blackie with him. Hi there! Here's your prisoner, Marshal. Pull up there! Oh, 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 Please, oh, get your hands up, stranger. You and the engine both. No, you don't, Sheriff. We caught your man after he'd gotten away from you. Take him. But you've got nothing on Tato and me, and you know it. You... And you don't hold us without a fight. Look here, mister. No masked fella can tell me Just what to do. Just a second, Sheriff. Stranger. Well? It was a masked man that gave me the tip to come here. I was just wondering if maybe you weren't him. It doesn't matter whether I am or not. Turning Blackie over to you, that's all that concerns you. Well, well, Blackie, talking won't get you free. The marshals told me all about you. You'll hang sky high. It had to happen someday. Hey, Tolerant. Ah, uh, I ought to know anybody low enough to let a kid like Billy get shot on account of him. What's that? Him... What's that about Billy? Hey, no. Please no. answer me. They said Billy been shot. If you skunks hurt that kid, well, it couldn't be helped. Why are you? Listen to reason, man. I was weeding all was him in your coat and hat and on that horse. But... The horse? My coat and hat? Why, he must have been scheming it right then. He was. You ain't worth the powder to blow you to smithereens, Blackie. But that kid seemed to think for some fool reason you was all right. Leastwise, he aimed for you to have a chance. He was willing to give his life to see that you did. Sheriff, how oh, bad's Billy hurt? It's pretty bad, but he's on his way to a doctor now. Then take me to him. Let me see him. Sheriff, I'll do anything you ask, but just let me find out how the kid's going to do. I don't know. I'm sorry. It's out of the question. You're going back to Yellow Gulch with me. But don't go it, Marshal. No use arguing. We catch a stage going through the night. Now get moving. But I... On your way, you ride between us. Stranger, we're thanking you for your help. Forget it. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Where we go? To Laramie. From what the sheriff said, Billy's in danger of his life. I want to learn if he'll live. Get him up, Scout! Come on, Silver, come on! In Laramie, kindly old Dr. Ewing had taken young Billy into his own home and had worked upon the youngster with all his skill. Billy's wounds were not serious. And yet when the sheriff called the next day to ask how the boy was doing. Hello there, Billy. I've got someone to see you. Howdy, young'un. Hello, Sheriff. Be like talking for just a short while, son? Oh, I don't know. Here now, young'un. Where's all your pep? <laughs> Golly, I never looked for the time when you wouldn't be full of spunk and ready to go. Sheriff. Huh? Blackie. What's going to happen to Blackie? Why, uh, he, uh, that Billy, is... Billy, you shouldn't exist. But I got to know, Sheriff. What have they done with him? Why ain't he been allowed to come and see me? Uh, Billy, he's on his way to Yellow Gulch with the marshal. <laughs> he wanted to see you in the worst way, but it just couldn't be. He, they're going to hang him. Oh, I don't think... They are going to. They are. I know they are, but... but I tell you... Oh, they can't do that to Blackie. They can't. The sheriff, you got to keep... Son. <laughs> Billy, the sheriff's your friend. If he could do anything to help you, he would. Now, don't carry on so. Try to sleep, won't you, son? I, I can't sleep, Doc. I just can't. Don't you realize that if you don't, you won't get well? I don't want to get well. I don't care what happens to me. Blackie, they're going to hang him. I have to go out, Billy. But I won't be gone for long. And I want you to promise me something before I go. Promise you something? Whether you think you can sleep or not, really try to. It's the only thing that's going to help you. If you won't try it for yourself, uh, then try it for my sake. <laughs> what do you expect folks will think of me if I lose a patient as husky as you are? I, I, I'll try, Doc. There, that's better. Come on, Sheriff. Remember now, that's a promise. See? It's the dog on this thing. He's not badly wounded, Sheriff. He is healthier than even you are. But he won't rest. He won't stop worrying about Blackie. 
And medicine can't save a life when the patient refuses to live. Twelve hours later, on the stage bound for Washoe, Mrs. Clemens, Marshal Cleary, and Blackie were startled by the sound of firing. Driver! Hi, driver, what's the trouble? It's a holdup. There's a masked man and a redskin. Get up! Get up there! What's that? I know those men. Pull up! You hear me? Pull up at once. Those are the men who helped us catch Blackie here. Hello there! What is it, Marshal, stranger? The life of the boy who was wounded depends on Blackie returning to Laramie. There's no time to waste. You've got to turn back at once. Turn back? Are you loco? I said there's no time to waste. Then you go to places. I'll... Why, no... I won't argue. One move and I shoot. Blackie, climb out here. You better will, mister. Get up behind me. You'll be tailed for this, stranger. You'll get yours, and that's a promise. Marshal, I don't want to oppose the law, but in a case like this, I have no choice. Ready, Blackie? Ready. Come on, Come on, let's go. Come on. We'll last him. <laughs> Driver, back to Laramie. This is the law speaking, and you do what I say. I think you hit him, Marshal. I hope I did. Get, get up. gone. Get up there. Get up. Get up. The marshal's bullets had taken effect. Both the masked man and Blackie had been hit, and once beyond range, the Lone Ranger and Tonto reined in their mounts. Oh. How bad you hurt? Don't mind me, Kimasabi. Mine's a flesh wound. Caught me in the shoulder. Have a look at Blackie. I, I was scared I'm done for, mister. Oh, and you got heap bad wounds. Well, then we can't go on. We will. I'll make it somehow. I've got to. Before I cash in my chips, I can do one decent thing to make up for all the bad I've done. That's to give Billy reason for living. It's a hard trip to Laramie. Uh -huh. But just the same, if it was twice as hard and twice as far, I'd still last it out. Now, let's not talk. Let's travel. Right. Kill him. Get him over, Stone. Get him out. Early the next morning, Dr. Ewing hurried toward the front door of his home. Yes? Oh, oh. What are you... Blackie. How was the boy? What right of you to come Doctor, here? Doctor, look at Blackie. He's almost finished. Yet he came back here because he thought Billy needed him. Don't delay us because of my mask. Blackie. Good heavens, man. You rode here with a wound like that? Don't mind me, Doc. I was the kid. But you're in bad shape. don't waste time. I can't hold out much longer. It's a miracle you've lasted as long as you have. Blackie, the boy's delirious. I haven't been able to get him to sleep. But he certainly won't do him any good to see you like this. Doc, you, you just leave that to me. Let's go in there, huh? Blackie, I don't know what to say. A minute ago, I hated you. But now... Well, come on. You too, stranger. Of course. Stay here, Tonto. The marshal and the sheriff come. Keep them out. Ah, Tonto, do it. Sheriff. Sheriff. Blackie's there. Good. Let me... He wouldn't do anything like Let me talk to him alone. Oh, Blackie. Just stay here. Blackie. Yes. Come on, get me, Blackie. Kid. They can't hang you, Blackie. It's me, kid. Oh, Blackie. It's Blackie. Me. I don't care. Can't you what hear you me, were, kid? It's me, Blackie. Come on, Blackie. I'll come back to you. Blackie. <laughs> Shucks. You think there was anything in the world could keep me from you when you was ailing? Did you really think I wouldn't come back to you? Is it really you, Blackie? Is it? Sure is. But, but they said you was going to hang. They said that... Yeah. Someone said that about me. Well, of all the fool things. Why, kid? <laughs> they won't hang me. I give you my word. Cross my heart. I've just been telling you things that ain't so. Honest, Blackie? Honest? Honest. And I'll tell you something else. Yeah? I've changed, young fella. I'm all through being a crook like I was. Kid, 
From now on, for as long as I live, I'm going straight. Gee. Gee, Blackie, that's swell. You're looking tired. I, I've been awful tired, but thinking of you and, and wondering what was going to happen. And... <laughs> Ain't no need to wonder now. That's all over with. Now what you're going to do is get some rest. So you and me can be together again. Rest, kid. Sleep. Sleep. All the sleep you can get. Sure, Blackie. Sure. Sleep. Sure. Blackie, you've done it. He's sleeping. It's the crisis. He lived, Blackie. Don't. Don't wake him up. Stranger. Yes? Don't let him know about me too soon, will you? No, Blackie. And after I'm gone, if you could kind of look after him a bit, there's nobody he can turn to. And you've been right kind. You have my word, I will. Thank you. Thanks. I... Yes, Blackie. It's no use, stranger. He can't answer you. He'll never answer anyone again. Come. Sheriff, your prisoner's inside. This blasted engine wouldn't let us by. By thunder this time, Blackie won't get away. Not if I have to handcuff him. You're right. Where is he? You're right, Sheriff. He won't get away from you. But I'll tell you something else. Huh? Blackie will never hang. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.